Honestly, when it comes down to it, uh, Neville going up against Bo Dallas is the only match on the Elimination Chamber show that really... I don't really have a strong feeling about caring about. Honestly, um, Bo Dallas um, really hasn't been doing anything in the WWE for a good long run. The last time he did anything uh, that I can remember was involved with the uh, WWE Network post-show for Monday Night Raw at the WrestleMania 31 weekend uh, when he came out and he did the promo uh, talking about being a, a kid. Um, of course, him being the son of Mike Rotundo, um, IRS, um, you know, and, and Sting painting his face and looking up to him as a little child and everything like that that went down with that promo. I can't really think of any of him wrestling and being involved with anything, but uh, Neville is coming strong off of his run inside of the uh, King of the Ring, having a good quality set of matches with uh, King Wade Barrett, and uh, I don't know, to me, honestly, this is sort of like a step down for Neville. Obviously, this is a match that he's going to win. It is a guy that he did have a, a series of matches with inside of NXT, so maybe I can see WWE using um, this series of matches, maybe it's trying to resurgence and repump some life into Bo Dallas, but uh, Neville versus Bo Dallas really doesn't have a strong buzz to me. Of course, this whole thing got started uh, coming off of the last pay-per-view. Um, was that Extreme Rules? <laughs> but um, Extreme Rules, he had the match uh, with uh, King Wade Barrett where he did get the win, but then he did get his ass kicked. So he came to Monday Night Raw all taped up. I believe he had a match with Stardust. And after the match, Bo Dallas came down to run down Neville. And uh, they've sort of gone back and forth ever since that. But uh, it all goes back to that first NXT special that happened on the WWE Network. Um, where Bo Dallas, um, who was the longest running NXT champion at the time, had a match against Neville. Um, it was a ladder match um, that Neville did win in order to capture the um, NXT championship. And from there... Um, Bo Dallas left NXT. I don't think he, he might've had one more match. I think he had a rematch that he lost. And from there he made his uh, debut in, in the WWE on the main roster and has, has never really looked back. I don't think he stepped back into NXT, um, since then. Of course, Neville had a really strong run as being champion. He would have lost the championship, um, to Sami Zayn. And, uh, he was involved in a few matches from there and they finally decided it was time to call him up, uh, to Monday Night Raw WrestleMania 31 weekend. And Neville is the guy that has really hit the ground and, and, and not stopped running. He's, he's lost some matches. He's, he's won more than he's lost. Um, but you can definitely tell that they have a future for him, but, uh, they haven't really, they, they don't want to, you know, jump shot him all the way to the, the top right away. And, uh, they've got him in that higher mid card, uh, but definitely not in the main event slot at all. But, uh, Bo Dallas, I think he's where he's going to be for their, more than likely the rest of his career in WWE. Uh, I just don't see him getting there. I, I, I do like him on the WWE roster. Um, that, that, you know, sort of smile that he has, you can just sort of tell that the guy's a goof. He's a good wrestler when he gets in there and wrestles, but, uh, I think he's just right where I want to be. So hopefully in this match, we'll see Neville pull out the win and, um, see this match get a little bit of time, but not a lot of time. And that's just about it.